All right, you guys. So I um, just found out about that missing girl in um, Australia, the little four-year-old um, Cleo Smith. The only thing that I did do is watch a little bit of the parents' interview because I was really called to look at that. But um, so I'm going to set the intention that only the highest and best information can come through. I'm calling upon my guides, my angels. I'm calling upon Cleo's higher self and um, her guides to come in. Now, if you're wearing headphones, be warned, I'm going to cleanse, clear, and purify this area. Only the highest and best energy can come through. I only want that, which is true and accurate information. And so it is. Amen. All right, so I'm going to invite in Cleo's higher self. And Cleo, now the thing that I want to know most of all, is Cleo still in the physical body? Once again, I will ask, is Cleo still in her physical body? I'm getting no. Um, I'm getting whoever took her, took her to their house. And it was almost like they're, they're deranged. They, um, I'm getting like a woman's energy, but I'm getting that there's someone else too an older woman. It was like she wanted to have like a child around in the house and she thought it would be nice and she saw her earlier in the day. This is a deranged couple. I'm hearing that Cleo wouldn't stop crying for her parents. And that she was she was silenced. She was kind of kept in the basement. That's my cat feeder. Um, now Cleo's higher self. Indeed, is Cleo still around or is she down in the basement, silenced in the darkness? It's like she's being beaten. Okay, so let's, because um, there's some confusion here, especially with the four year old. Um, Now, hair self, can you bring Cleo to me? If she is in the non-physical, bring her to me. Okay, so she's running around her higher self. Honey, are you okay? She says, I'm fine now. So higher self, I'm assuming that she's passed over into the light then. Mostly. What does mostly mean? A 
that happened not too long ago. The people who abducted her got tired of her whining and crying. It was like they were delusional and they thought they thought that she would just kind of like, okay, you're my new people now. But I'm definitely getting an older woman. Like I'm seeing white skin with like, you know, liver spots on it or age spots on it. Kind of curly hair, a skinny woman. I think she's a smoker. And the husband was kind of like, or the boyfriend or whatever it is, okay, dear, okay, dear, like whatever she wanted. I think they, I think they, um, they pop pills and they're not in their right mind or they're just crazy. They're, um, they don't live far from there, from the campground. What color is the vehicle? Hi yourself, oh Cleo, because I've got a purple deck in my hand and I heard purple. And I want to make sure that that's just not, you know, what I transposed onto the, the color of the deck here. What is the color of the car when she was taken? Cleo, honey, can you tell me? Interesting, she goes, it was white like the sun. But the sun isn't necessarily white. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost like she saw a glare. She could only see a glare. But I'm like, white? So it was white? Hi, yourself, can you, can you help access her, her information? Indeed, it was a, it was a white car. It was um, like a small economy car, beat up, old. Where did they put her, her body? It's so weird, like with this, because this is a, I, you know, this is supposed to be, this is called the happy tarot, but I'm getting that they, they had toys for her and they put her, um, inside of the, like a plastic toy, like, um, like a little fort or, you know, dollhouse, but you know, it's like enough for a small child to get into. Now Cleo's higher self, is there anything else that we can do to help this move forward in a fruitful manner? Because certainly I hope the information that I'm getting wrong about her being passed, you know, especially with dealing, dealing with a child, it could be confusion, but you know, and I'm only asking for the highest and best. Um, these are hard for me because there is a lot of emotion attached to them. And when I go to these places, I have to go into dark places. And, you know, that's not necessarily like the funnest thing to do. But I'm here to help. Yeah, they're, they're just showing me her body in this like toy house. Um, and it's weird. It's like the, the people are upstairs and they're just like glad that there's quiet now because they thought it would be good, but it was too much work, which is insane. And it was almost like it was a fit of like, just shut up, shut up, you know? Um, it was almost like they were blaming Cleo for not being able to just be a happy little child. I think the person, this woman had a, 
a miscarriage back in the day when she was younger and never could have children again. And so I think there was this delusion about what it would be like. Yeah, and so the, the woman was the one that, that killed her. And it was almost like they're sitting upstairs and they've forgotten all about it. And then they like occasionally remember like, oh, we still need to do something with the body. Like these are not normal people. These are like really degenerate people. Like in a worn down house that I'm, I'm hearing something about generational, like it was passed down to them and they are, one of them inherited it. I feel like the man inherited the house. You know, and him, he's just saying, oh, I thought I could get this. I thought I could make her happy. And it was like he wanted her to shut up about this. And so he went along with it. But she was the one who kind of perpetrated the whole thing. I feel that a neighbor saw something. I heard the crying or something and they're not very sociable people. So they were like, oh, this is a granddaughter that's visiting. So there's somebody who knows. Now, what else would like to be said? What I'm hearing is there was actually talk about selling her, but they knew that this had, they, they had talked about it, but it didn't even get that far. They realized they had to do something, but in the fit of trying to get her to be quiet, yeah. Certainly hope that I am wrong. You know, and I hate to say this, but for legal purposes, I have to say that this is for entertainment purposes only. You know, and this is all speculative. This is just what I'm getting from the guides here. Now, is there anything else that is pertinent information? Okay, so they're not far from the campground where they live because it's almost like sorry about the noise from the jet or the airplane or whatever it is um, so she's not far from where the campsite is I keep thinking it keeps looking like the house is so like unkept that it almost looks like an old trailer but it's not a trailer because it has a basement I mean they literally have to like go downstairs and there's cement so it's not like it's underneath a trailer this is like an actual old old rundown house and I'm seeing that there's like um like old junk cars and metal in the yard. And their house isn't right on the road, it's off the road where they have to drive in a little bit. But the neighbors are close enough to where they could hear the little girl crying. And the neighbors are really kind of into their own thing, so they're not really um, thinking much about it. But hopefully they will see information on the news there and be sparked in a memory about it. Now, higher self or you know anybody who wants to answer as far as highest and best will 
they be caught and justice served. And this is the devil card. And I what I heard was no. Now, has the has these people taken other children before? No. They're going to keep a real low profile, which they usually do. They hardly ever leave their house. They don't really visit or have friends. What is the Wheel of Fortune about? Eventually, there will be justice, but it would be a long time from now. All right, you guys, I hope that this did anything of help, you know, giving the details of an older couple, she smokes or he smokes, because it's like, there's like film on the wall, like that tar stuff. It's just, they're, they're not, they're, 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 yeah, they're fairly old. It's, you know, old is, um, 65, you know, 60s, something like that. Um, she likes to wear button down shirts. Completely, un, un, you know, unsuspecting. Um, but it's almost like they were able to turn their emotions off and be like, Meh. oh, well, that didn't work out. Eventually we'll get rid of the body. Um, You know, but she is, so let's back it up here. So higher self of Cleo, you were saying that she's sort of passed over into the light. You said she's transitioning in. Okay. So let's be sure. Um, okay. Cause she was kind of like hanging around the light close enough to the light. Um, like he's like higher self is saying like transitioning into it because the death was not um, not too long ago or the murder she was found pretty quickly by the light and you can even see it here where the light was close She's definitely being taken care of. So far, from what I gather from her, she doesn't seem to be the wiser. She's just kind of, you know, like I was saying, she was running around her higher self. You know, like, playing around. So she's okay as far as her spirit, her soul. And it's tragic that half-alive humans or such low vibrational humans would do something like that. All right, you guys, I hope that um, this brings any help in finding um, the murderers who did this. Like I said, it's not far from the campsite um, in an old home with junk how you know cars out there like rusted rusted out vehicles debris and an old decrepit home she's skinny button down she likes to wear button down shirts she's a smoker and skinny can't really get a good read on the guy he just kind of seems like he's not really there like he's already kind of mentally checked out whether he's, you know, on pain meds or whatever it is, but they're both able to switch off their emotions pretty easily. And obviously there's some sort of mental illness here. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Medium of the Light Tarot.